The scent is go. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? You're professionals. I'm not going to babysit bunk assignments. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning. A number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots. Just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Helios threw us for a loop, meaning we're kind of new at this. All of us. So let's figure out what the rules are now and try to stick to them. Sounds good. If there's one thing I know I can do, it's make up rules. No one said make up rules. Can we please keep anarchy to a minimum? Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drac, see Lexi for a physical? Good meeting, everyone. This console reports on the malicious current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Candros for authorization to participate. Nice place you found. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? <sighs> maybe. Your biotics always do that when you're maybe stressed? I got it. I'm good. I don't normally lose it like that. A huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one, before the initiative. Some things stick, though. Like losing the old man. I know it's not the same, but I'm a good listener. I hope you're as good at being Pathfinder. I said I wouldn't get in the way, and I meant it. But I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you, an untrained Pathfinder, and all this mess to fix? The hell was he thinking? Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival, just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. You, me, side by side? I like the sound of that. A commando friend said something like that once. I explained I wasn't into women, however admirable they might be. So... 
So I said I'd still take a bullet for her. We were a team. Look, there's still the mission. A lot of dreams to fulfill. Even if we get there, there's a mountain of hard work ahead. Working hard was never my problem. Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. Hi there. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Pathfinder Rider to Engineering. Repeat, Rider to Engineering. Pathfinder, making the rounds. Slumming it, huh? Wanna see how the riffraff are making out? Hey, this is the most important part of the ship. Whoa, don't tell me they put someone smart in charge for a change. I am at your command. Just wanna see how things are going with the ship. I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, I gotta say, I was regretting joining the Initiative. Seems like life back there was pretty bleak. Not gonna lie, it sucked. I tend to live the way I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties. No real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and, oops, I just made a decision there's no turning back from. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. You mean how jazzed you were that a Pathfinder showed up? Tomato, potato. You just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go and I'll make sure she can get there. Deal? Deal. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. <gasps> the Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Let me guess. Little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo. Gotta go. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation? Now's as good a time as any. I think... No. I know that I can be of use here. I know everyone on the crew. Even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. We need people with skills, and it sounds like you've got many. Welcome aboard. Yep, making deals to get the things you want, shooting at the things you don't. That's me. We all have a personal stake in this. If it keeps going the way it's been, we're all dead. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later.
Pathfinder, help me with something? I know, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked Omni blade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? Someone brought this to Andromeda? It was new when we left. It's been a hard year. So, finally time for that beer? And after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. But crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few peace actions. Think about your alliance days much? I wanted exploration, to chase the cutting edge of Prothean research. I thought I'd found my calling. Seems like a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. I'm looking for moments like this with people like you. <laughs> you don't know me yet. Still an answer, though. Something far from home. I get it. Back at you, Costa. Why do you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. But it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job. Nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and... I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Still do. I have to. We're in it. If it all goes wrong, it could feel like we left for no reason. I know why I'm here. A bad start can't change that. I won't let it. In crisis response, I'd focus on essentials. That's you and this team. Pathfinder leads to planets, leads to people. You've got your part covered. You've got this. I'll do my damnedest to help with the rest. Prodromos. Prodromos. Sounds good, doesn't it? We started, Pathfinder. A new life. That is goddamn brilliant. Just stopping by for... not much. Just... showing some interest? Ugh. <laughs> Bad opening, Pathfinder. <laughs> You're better than that. Yes, well... Screw it. I'm owning it. See, I knew it. <laughs> All right, interest returned. Let's bank that for another day. You barely covered how you joined. Tell me something about yourself. All right. I was a bad student. Piss poor cop. Great responder. Had a good life. But it all been done. I wasn't looking to start over. I wanted to start big. You were a cop, then crisis response? Couldn't have been long in either. Didn't have the patience for law, so I figured enforcement. Dad knew it didn't fit before I did. But it got me into hustle. They mostly take vets and retired service. Best years of my life. He you found your place. Not everyone gets that. I knew it. Glad for it every day. And that led me here. We'll talk later. I know it. Talking to? 
Cash, Nexus superintendent, thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. Well, welcome to the Tempest. Trouble's what we do. Ha! Ah, I like the way you think, kid. Ugh, someone somewhere shivered when I said that. Probably Tan. Damn politicians. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Where are your friends? The other Krogan? We found a place to plant our feet, make our own rules. Leaving the Nexus wasn't ideal, but we've managed. So why did you leave? Staying became impossible. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules, or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Krogan could have made a real difference on the Nexus. Staying under those conditions would have just resulted in another mutiny. We have a much better shot at something good out here. Can't argue with that. You're not Harry. The blue give it away? Habitat 7 was a little more action-packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years in the Hyperion looking after your brother. Happy to have you, Dr. DePero. I'll do my best. Now, hold still. Ow! Sorry. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists, not taking care of the Pathfinder. I couldn't be in better hands. I just stabbed you. We all have off days. I always hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. Focus on the positive. It helps. I guess this is my opportunity to study alien species firsthand. Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here... Uh, what? A cat corpse. For autopsy, I'm, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you. I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. I had no idea. I'd love to hear more. Over dinner, maybe? Oh. Um... Thing is, Ryder, you're not my type. What's your type? Not a patient. I need to be able to look at you clinically, without distractions. Am I distracting? Not nearly as much as you think you are. But we were discussing the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan... Right. Just something to think about. Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats her vegetables. So we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. How did you get into medicine? My mum was a dancer on Omega. Dad was a bouncer. I'd patch him up after busy nights. Discovered I had steady hands. They put every credit they earned into my education. Are they here in Helios? No. Both died in a turf war. Made leaving the Milky Way behind easier. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me.
We haven't really spoken since orientation, have we? It's all been so hectic, but I'm sure things will quiet down soon. Can't be worse than the Nexus. You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Does your brain ever take a breath? <laughs> Sorry, not really. Even my dreams are in time-lapse. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana, to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, Ryder. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field, while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Maybe you just needed more sleep. We were out for 600 years. A special someone made the trip with me, and she woke up a different person. I've slept enough. Ryder, the Milky Way was so... Been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes! I'm number one! Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. Then again... I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned. Which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. You again. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? You're off the hook, PB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. It's dangerous, and that's all I see. A mass of destructive, malevolent tentacles. I can appreciate the colors of a coral snake while recognizing that I wouldn't want to get close. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. There's nothing about the universe that suggests a divine intelligence. And most of what we've seen in Helios is artificial, as you said yourself. Yes, but we're creative beings. Whoever made the remnant was too. Why should that be proof against a god? Wouldn't a true creator want to pass on the drive to invent? I know I seem dismissive at first, but you have an interesting take on faith in science. I'd really like to pick your brain on that sometime. Maybe over drinks? The Nexus? I, uh... I'd like that. Now I should probably update the rest of the team with my latest reports. We'll talk later. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there?
You mentioned something about helping design the Tempest? Test pilot, mostly. Plunging through the Nemean Abyss was almost a preparation for the Scourge. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I like the Tempest, but I'm not sure I'd travel between galaxies for her. The Unknown Frontier had its charms, too. It's just strange not having the rest of the design team. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Solarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Solarian arc missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Cheer up, Callow. We'll always have Director Tan. That snide little bureaucrat? All the more reason to find the others. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. What can I do for you? I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be.